What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today we're going to put stickers on objects or decals, whatever you want to put on there. Um, this comes from my YouTube channel. Somebody here was asking how to put stickers on objects correctly. And um, I had looked it up. Usually I use Substance Painter, but I know there's other ways of other people are doing it in Redshift, but it was just a really long process. So I was like, there has to be a simpler way. So I played around with it a little bit and was able to come up with this. And so it's super simple to get set up. I just have some mega scan textures and stickers in here. And so, um, yeah, let's begin. I'll show you how to create this. So we're going to start by creating a plane. Uh, let's put it on like our axe orientation like so. And let's start by making a redshift material. Now, once this gets loaded in here, let's click on edit shader graph. And let's drag this over and let's bring in our first material, which is going to be our rusty lockers here. So I'm going to just click and drag my PNG over. Click no on um, the search path thing here. Now I have my texture in the scene. If I drag it over to my um, diffuse channel. And then when I go back to my uh, redshift material. Let's drag our reflection all the way down because we don't want any reflection on this for this example. I'm going to close that window. I'm going to drag this onto my plane. And as you can see, now we have sideways um, lockers. So I'm just going to go back to my plane. Let's see what happens if I do plus. Uh, let's do Z. Okay, negative Z. All right, there we go. Now the right side up. But I believe they're backwards. So I'm gonna go into my coordinates and my um, my X orientation right here. I'm gonna just make negative one. And now I believe those are in the correct proportion. So let me open back up my edit shader graph. And we're gonna to wanna to add in a blender material. So let me drag these over. I'm gonna double click on the surface here to disconnect these. And if I go over to materials here on the left hand side, I find material blender. Now let me drag this over and connect this to my, my surface here. And now our lockers that we had right here, I'm going to go to back to my artist material, go color out and make this my base color. And now when I go back into my viewport, we should see everything is back to normal again. Let me see. Yep. So that means our material is working. And so now we can start adding our stickers on here. So I'm going to go back to my shader graph. Let me zoom back a little bit. I'm just scrolling on my mouse wheel to scroll back, make a little bit of room. Let me go to my folder and I have this sticker here from Mega Scans. I cut these out earlier. This one's like a hamburger and I made, I have a PNG with the alpha. So I'm going to just click and drag both of these in. Click no, click no. And let me separate these a little bit. Okay, so here's my texture right here, the burger texture. I'm gonna go color out, and then I'm gonna go to layer one and make it my layer color. And then for my alpha channel that I have, which is a black and white PNG, I'm gonna go back to here, go to layer one and make that the blend color. And now, Whenever I run my viewport here, now we have a giant burger over top of our lockers here. It looks like it's backwards, so maybe I was wrong. I'm gonna go back to my X, make this positive one. Flip that, okay, there we go. So everything's right now. So now we don't want this giant burger across our lockers, that's a huge sticker. So let's shrink this down. I'm gonna go to my alpha here and now click on my general tab and if you look here at the bottom under remap, I'm going to try to move these around so we can see both at the same time. So if I go here where it says remap, I'm going to click on my scale and go, let's say five by five and click enter. And you can see we're starting to get our, um, we're getting our alpha channel and it's, you know, it's um, repeating. It has a repeating pattern. So I'm going to go back to my texture here, do the same thing. Go five by five, click enter, and now we have a bunch of stickers on here, but we don't want repeating stickers, we just want the one. So the way to get around that is right here under UV, where it says wrap UV, click those off. You have to do that for the alpha and 
your um your alpha and your texture and now we have our burger sticker right here in the corner and to be able to move that you just go back to your remap here and you just start dragging these around and you're going to have to do it for your alpha and texture unless someone knows of a node that you can connect these both together but this is the way i was doing it so i would drag my alpha to a place that i that's um a soft fit so let's say negative 0.4 by negative 0.4. And then you have to go back to your texture here and do the same thing, negative 0.4 by negative 0.4. Oh, is that not the same? Nope. There you go, negative 0.4. There we go. So now we have our sticker in the middle of our locker here. So that, um, to my knowledge, that's how you move that around. Now we can add another sticker so let's take these fingers I bring my sticker and my alpha into my scene or my, my shader graph. And we just, uh, we're going to repeat what we just did. So out color, bring it to my layer two. And then for the alpha, bring it back to layer two blend color. And it's the same thing. It's going to be giant on the screen. So we want to go and click off the wrap UV. Make sure it's the same on both your texture and your alpha. And then we're just going to make this, let's say three by three. Click on my texture, go three by three. And then go back to my alpha again. And let's just move these to a different spot. So um, let's say negative 0.5 by negative 0.5. And that's going to bring our sticker up above our burger. Go to my texture, negative 0.5 by negative 0.5. And there we go. So now we have another sticker over top of our locker and we have multiple stickers. So that's basically how you do it. We could do it with one more that I have cut out here. I have the earth and bring that in with its alpha. Same thing. Let's bring these over here. Take my texture. This time I'm gonna go to layer three. Take my alpha, go to layer three again, but this time as the blend color. And now we have our giant earth on here. So let's start by clicking off the wrap U and V on both of these. And then for this scale, let's just say six by six. So the higher you go, the smaller your object's gonna be. So six by six makes the earth small here in the corner. And once again, let's just drag these up. And I believe we can make these overlap. Let me see if I can put it over top of our, our burger here. So let's say negative, negative 0.25 by negative 0.45. So do the same thing to your texture, negative 0.25 by negative 0.45. Let me see if I could drag it over a tiny bit more see if we can get some overlap so it looks like that's around negative three so come back here make this negative point three and there we go so yeah we have our sticker overlapping over top of our other sticker we have multiple stickers in here and i believe with this material blend you could do up to six and then if you want more than that i think you can add more material blends i haven't tried it yet but this is something to experiment with and so, um, yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out. It's extremely simple. Like I said, I saw other people on the internet doing it a different way. And it was just really long. And I feel like this is the simplest solution. So if this helped you out, please give my video a thumbs up. You know, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And then again, you know, if you leave me a comment and you're trying to figure something out, I'll do my best to try to figure it out and make a video for it. So until next time, keep creating. And thank you guys for watching. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>